St. Vincent and the Grenadines is getting a facelift. Well, more accurately, the parts of St. Vincent that delegates to the 8th Silac Summit are likely to see have been spruced up. Trees overhanging the roadways have been pruned and crash barriers repaired. Potholes have been recently filled in, including in the capital, Kingston. Road surface markings have been given a lick of paint. Road gangs have been deployed and even on Sunday were removing every blade of grass from the verges. Some communities have gotten new signs and in at least one, Rillen Hill, a mile from the summit venue, a new Silac theme sign was erected as the old one remains where it has been for years, awaiting re-erection. The summit takes place on Friday, March 1 at Sanders Beaches Resort at Buckhamet Bay, 26 days before the resort officially opens. And on Wednesday evening, the scurry was on at the resort as guests began to arrive. In Pembroke, where the road to the resort meets the main highway, workmen ensured that things are as the government wishes as the country prepares to host at least 33 delegations, including the Secretary General of the United Nations. In Parliament last week, preparations for the summit was the focus of a question by opposition lawmaker Sinclair Leacock. He asked Minister of Finance Camilo Gonzalez what the quantum of investments of SILAC as a body in St. Vincent and the Grenadines is, or if by country, the breakout. If yes, are these monies deposited into the consolidated fund or some other designated fund? And see, what is the cost to the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines for hosting the SILAC meeting? And if indeed there is a cost, is this being paid by way of special warrant or order? Gonzalez said SILAC is an intergovernmental mechanism for dialogue and political consultation. While SILAC members, member countries may engage in bilateral or multilateral investment agreements and projects with each other, mainly through diplomatic channels facilitated by SILAC, SILAC itself does not lend or grant money to governments and has not loaned or granted money to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Over the course of our presidency of SILAC, we gained unprecedented access to the leaders of the European Union during our convening of the first SILAC EU summit in over eight years. We gained similar access to the heads of the African continent in a similar engagement on the margins of the United Nations. And we played a central and indispensable role in promoting hemispheric peace during our historic summit with the presidents of Guyana and Venezuela at the Argyle International Airport. The finance minister said that the 2024 budget allocated 1.5 million Eastern Caribbean dollars to the SILAC Secretariat in Kingston. The note for that allocation states, quote, to facilitate secretariat duties for the pro tempore presidency of the Community for Latin American and Caribbean States, SILAC, including the recruitment of translators and purchase of equipment. That equipment includes, among other things, vehicles that will have utility well beyond the conclusion of the summit. We are grateful to the Sandals Resort, where the event will be hosted, for agreeing to host the summit even before their official opening date. We are also grateful for their commitment to host certain ceremonies and social events at their expense as part of the summit event. Am I correctly interpreting Our benefits from the CELAC membership are fundamentally of and in kind as against cash nature, one, and in that regard that our course to the facilitation of this very important meeting in another few days. is contained in that $1.4 million budgeted figure, not to include all those works seemingly related there to road repairs, fixing of verges, hedges, 
and I'm selling you. Are they all in the $1.4 million or those are? Gonzalez said that the budget contains money annually for the repair of roads and more money is allocated this year. It is inappropriate to suggest that those form part of the SILAC bill any more than the, road be, the roads being repaired in Calico form part of the SILAC bill or the roads being repaired in Fair Hall form part of the SILAC bill or the roads being uh, repaired in the Marico Valley form part of the SILAC bill. So I think that it would be, it would be disingenuous to suggest that it is for the SILAC benefit. The minister acknowledged that which roads were repaired might have been influenced by the route to the summit. Of course, of course, it is entirely possible for Braxa to rearrange its road repair schedule to facilitate this or that pothole en route from the airport to, to Silac. It is something that is done whenever you invite somebody to your house. You make sure that your house is in good shape before you invite them in your house. So, so I don't... No, it's not accidental, but I'm saying that it is, it is part and parcel of what was announced as, as a road project. When you have uh, 30... Well, it will be about 25 presidents and prime ministers in this country at once. There are some enhancements to security equipment that the police will require, uh, enhancements that we don't need to discuss uh, in an open forum, but have been procured to ensure some of the, saf the safety and security of some of these very important world leaders who will be visiting St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and to represent the assurances that we give to them um, that they will be well taken care of. The additional benefit of some of that security equipment is that it will also be useful and beneficial when we host the 2020 World Cup and we again anticipate, Cricket World Cup, and we again anticipate multiple visitors to our shores and the need for heightened security in some cases. Gonzalo said the interrelationships between and among foreign policy initiatives are complex and cross-cutting and often result in benefits that would be inappropriate for the government to draw causal relationships one thing to the other. The benefits that we have attained and achieved are apparent to those willing to take the time to look because there is a correlation between a number of between our own activi activism and some of the advancements that we have enjoyed in recent years but it is not our place to put a cost-benefit analysis of that nature on those investments. Suffice it to say that the government um, is well satisfied that the money invested in leadership, in advocacy, and in shaping the global agenda is money well spent in the interest of the humanization of the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The main outcome of the summit is expected to be the 97 paragraph declaration of Kingstown. However, in the meantime, Many residents of communities across St. Vincent and the Grenadines are hoping that the summit could have had an immediate impact on public infrastructure in their areas. Kenton Chance, Eyewitness News, Buckhamet Bay, St. Vincent.